production in the Twin Cities. My name is Brianna Graham. And I'm Trey Serrells. We're here in front of the Heights Theater in Columbia Heights, which has hosted the premieres of many of the Twin Cities' best independent films, including some by today's guest. One of the most unique movie makers in the Twin Cities, Christopher R. Mim, and his Mimiverse <laughs> of retro-style B-movies. Let's take a look. Thanks for sitting down with us today, Chris. Thank you for having me. Since 2006, you have had a ton of press attention regarding your retro B-movie styles. What attracted you to this genre? Well, it was, as a kid growing up, I used to watch those cheesy old movies with my dad. Uh, and he's no longer with us. Uh, so when I set out to make my first feature, I thought it would be kind of fun to make something that would be a bit of a tribute to him, because he was a huge fan of these, those cheesy black and white movies. Uh, but I also love the genre, uh, and I'm a big science fiction fan. And with the kinds of budgets my films have, uh, it's impossible to do real science fiction. So it kind of gave me the freedom to be able to do sci-fi and, and do it on a very small budget. Uh, for the Monster of Phantom Lake, we couldn't help but notice that you're listed as doing eight different things behind the scenes. Writing and directing, composing, and even some special effects. Is this how you do all of your movies? Pretty much. Uh, at the beginning when I did the Monster of Phantom Lake, it was a necessity. Uh, I didn't really know what I was doing, admittedly. Uh, and so I ended up having to figure a lot of things out as I went along. Uh, and because of that, I ended up realizing Oh, I have to do this job, too. I have to do this job, too. Uh, and it worked for the film. Uh, and as I've made more films and the budgets have gotten slightly larger uh, and the crews have gotten bigger, uh, the, the casts have gotten bigger, just the overall scope of them has gotten bigger, um, we've added more people along the lines. Your newest film is The Giant Spider. Tell us about your plans for its release. Well, we're planning on having a big world premiere uh, at the Heights Theater in Columbia Heights. Uh, following that, we'll have a couple other local screenings. But then also, uh, it'll have its drive-in debut in Jefferson, Wisconsin. I had a great drive-in there. It's actually uh, where we shot part of the film. Can you tell us about some of the successes you've had as far as distribution goes? Yeah, when I first put out The Monster Phantom Lake, I really didn't have any idea what I was going to do as far as distribution or getting the movies out there. Uh, and then through sheer luck, we ended up getting picked up for distribution for my first three films. But that kind of ended in disaster. Uh, and I ended up fighting the company to get my movies, the rights to my movies back. And since I did that, I just sort of, maybe just sheer stubbornness, decided to go it on my own and sell it direct to consumers, go to conventions and events and screenings and just sell everything online. Uh, and I've, I've just, I've been far more successful doing it that way. I, I could easily find the people who want to own these types of films much easier on my own than any distribution company ever could. And I hear they also dress up and come in costume and, and get really excited about your, your uh, premieres, right? It's taken quite a while to get to that point, but it's starting <laughs> to get to that point where we actually, because I have eight films up to this point, and they're all linked in their own sort of special way, and I think it started to create a bit of a, a little rabid fan base a little cult following, uh, and you get people coming out to these screenings dressed up as characters or whatever. And as a film, as an indie filmmaker, that's one of the most exciting things I think I've ever come across. What can we expect next from the Mimiverse? Well, aside from the release of The Giant Spider, which I'm very excited for people to see, I honestly think it's the best thing I've ever made. Um, I am currently hard at work on the next one. It's called The Late Night Double Feature. And the idea behind it is that I took two shorter scripts, about 40 pages, so about 40 minute long, two shorter scripts I put together into one coherent single movie. Uh, and the first half of it is called Reform School Girls versus the Space Monster. Uh, and the second half is called The Wall People. Should be exciting and fun. There's a little bit of, you know, monsters and mayhem and kind of the thing I'm known for these days. Thank you, Chris, for talking with us. I know we're looking forward to the giant spider. <laughs> Check out the Mimiverse at www.sainteuphoria.com. Well, that's it for now. Like Indie Twin Cities on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to watch our show, comment, and get the latest and best coverage of independent movies from Indie Twin Cities. <laughs>